Today marks the day when, three years ago, four reporters went missing in the West Bend area, also known as the Recession Area. Their bodies were never found. It's been reported that, within possibility, within reason, something horrible happened in the woods. December 2007, the Great Recession began, Bush sent in the big guns and everyone lost all their cash, and their houses, and their business. But they did get one thing, crack. Most of America recovered however a lot of West Oregon fell through the cracks. This created an ominous recession towns forgotten by time and trapped in their own economic hells like Detroit, Sweet Home and Coos Bay which was always garbage let's be homes. The day will be breaching the barrier with just a camera and some and a dream. A dream to travel to these locations and document what has happened to them since the Great Recession, the last time they had contact with the out. Me and my fellow anti-recession journalists can only take pictures because Tom dropped the goddamn cameras in the Gatorade powder. So all we have left is Greg's iPhone. Despite this, we have passed some evidence of civilization. So far we haven't seen that much outside of the ordinary, besides multiple, strangely placed confederate flags, and a very surprising increase in Kmarts. We're gonna keep going further. Tomorrow, we will be sure to make- make sure to record any further abnorm abnormalities. It's under dispute if these towns have some form of metaphysical aspect. I would pronounce the opposite. There's no gods here, no ghosts, nothing. Just death, poverty, and crack. My sanity wanes with every passing minute here. I pass at least four different subways and the same veggie grill 19 times at least. Greg's camera's running out of batteries. We have to stop somewhere to recharge it. This world seems to be an endless loop. The radio station plays the same four country songs on repeat. I see the same crack-headed, half-naked, 70-year-old woman with frilly crop top and tight jean booty shorts carrying a gasoline canister every goddamn time. Never outside of a certain distance from a Kmart. The world seems to be an endless loop. The radio stations for the same four country songs on repeat. I see the same crackhead, half-naked, 70-year-old woman with a frilly crop top and tight jean booty shorts carrying a gasoline canister every goddamn five minutes. Never outside of a certain distance from a Kmart. <laughs> it's not the same veggie grill. They're all identical. God damn it, they're not the same veggie grill. I went inside. They're all different. It's not the same woman either. My hypothesis is that the re recession created such a surplus of cocaine that everyone has become a crackhead. I swear to god, this mountainy forest has no end. No matter how far I go, the recession towns keep going. This is pain. Nothing but pain. It's been six years. Every day, I have to go to a new Kmart to get more supplies. I've only eaten barbecue chips and takis this entire time. But no matter how bad I eat, I can die. I tried to ask locals where the way out is, but they just look at me. They take my arm and snort a line of coke off it. My life is a new hell of repetition. I don't understand how a place can be so wet and so dry at the same time. It's as if reality bends to these towns' very will. I've investigated situations of abnormal origin for the better half of my existence. I find the repetitive nature here disconcerting yet alluring. My fuel levers are low. 
In the coming hours, I'll have to stop at a recession gas station. God help me. There's no exit. Almost all of the buildings have become weird, formless Kmarts that don't seem to have limits to their stocks of apple fritters. I'm afraid. The sky has become one solid gray color. I'm surrounded, and I exist in an alien world consisting only of pain. I'm going to McDonald's.